Hey there, beautiful souls. This is Christy Martin with Art of Awakening, and thank you for watching. This is a reading for the Libra full moon in April 2019, and uh, especially the lunar week thereafter up to about the 25th, but it could cover the, this whole full, full moon, um, you know, month of that full moon as well. So I'm going to be using two decks here. I'm going to be doing a four directions reading and using the Shaman Wisdom cards for the feminine axis, that would be the East-West, and my own Spirit Animal Awareness cards for the masculine ax axis, the North-South. And I will apologize in advance, there's a little bit of construction going on outside my house. I've uh, tried to <laughs> set this up here as far away from the commotion as I can, but you may hear a little bit of uh, table saws going and so forth. So um, just sort of a reminder to just stay balanced, calm, and collected no matter what comes at us this week or month. All right, so I have been shown by spirit um, what I typically do with the directions. I do it with south on top. And so this will be east here. And I'm going to choose one of my cards here for north, or excuse me, for south. Let's pull this down just a little. Okay. for west. One more here. So east being kind of the, the new beginnings, it stands for new beginnings, um, kind of the, the commencement, the start of things. So this would be really looking at more towards moving up into the full moon and on the day itself. And Ironically, we have the direction of east itself coming up as a, um, you know, as, as one of the actual things. So east and the east, I think this is going to be a month or week of definite lots of energy for new beginnings, lots of energy for fresh starts, second chances, third chances. Um, you know, we've got a lot of just room for expansion. Um, you know, this uh, around this full moon, and it is in Libra, so we could be looking at relationships, um, anything with, uh, for some reason the communication is coming in, so like look at keeping communication clear and balanced, keeping a balanced viewpoint, looking at the other sides of things. Um, so this, you know, in any of your communications, and especially in your relationships, looking to see you know, the other person's viewpoint as well as your own. Um, this could create a lot of like, a, this could be a very creative month or week as well. Um, I'm getting just, there's a lot of, East has a lot of air energy to it and just sort of a fresh breath of air. So just be open to creative ideas coming in and I think this could be a really kind of opening sort of period of time as long as we keep the communications clear. So, um, you know, look for, look for that clarity. All right, moving up, this is the south, um, position of south. For this month, um, we're looking at, for south, we're looking at, it's the direction of fire. It's um, looking at kind of protection, security, nourishing, anything of, the, of that sort, uh, that aspect of, of energy. And we've got sloth. So really, I'm feeling like, in addition to the clear communication, just Again, self-care. Self-care has been coming up so, so much in the past few weeks. And, you know, just kind of hanging on to 
what feels good and just allowing yourself to hang out a little bit and also it's it's really about I think this has to do with looking at the other sides of the sloth really blends in with the environment because it actually has all sorts of plant material um, you know it, it actually takes on a green tinge to its coat and it's it's able to have that reciprocal sort of living arrangement with other organisms so it's looking at partnerships here and especially again I'm getting relationships in terms of family kind of thing this may be a big month for relationships and for bringing balance into relationship through communication it could be business relationships but I'm really getting more kind of family kind of stuff um, this is in the West position um, you know emotions your dreams your intuition and what's coming forward is squash now squash if you've ever grown squash you know just how vital they are and full of vitality they are really um, you plant a squash plant and watch out right <laughs> uh, so because they're 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 pretty um, I, I wouldn't say invasive but they, they there's just a lot of power to a squash plant and you don't need to do a lot with them you don't need to fuss over them okay so this is really about especially where your intuition is concerned not trying to control it because it's powerful you have a powerful intuition and it really has a, a, a there's a, it's connected with abundance squash is huge abundance right both the the abundance of leaves and just the way it just grows like crazy as well as you know that they're big fruits and they have lots and lots of seeds usually many multiple fruits on a squash plant so I'm saying really allow your intuition to you know just allow yourself to dream pay attention to the dreams and don't hold back in terms of allowing yourself time for meditation or even just kind of tuning in frequently this month uh, to kind of see what your gut says the frequent gut checks because that can lead to a lot of abundance and it could be connected with some of this clarity of communication and in the north position we have red panda red panda is real quiet kind of animal it, it needs a certain amount of me time of space okay north is this I think of it as a warrior direction and you know it's a kind of a warrior leadership kind of direction so this might be a really good month to step back on the warrior kind of like if you're a if you have a lot of inner warrior in you some of these things coming up with the relationships and the balance and the looking at other people's perspectives may want to trigger you right so this is an invitation to put your warrior aspect on ice let it chill out let it let it kind of retreat just a little bit and allowing your sensitive side more of a you know the the spot place in the spotlight um, allowing your sensitive side to lead and while still you still want to maintain your boundaries this doesn't mean not have boundaries but it it, it does mean really watch any tendency to flare up or to react suddenly okay you want to be very sensitive you know and and very open to communication open to your intuition this week and month so that's the reading for this new or full moon period of april 2019 hope it helps as always i appreciate your comments your likes your subscribes and i love you all very much thanks so much for watching again and have a lovely week we'll catch you again next time